Hey everybody, it's Jubilee here, also known as Mrs. England's Emporium. If you're new here, welcome. If you aren't new here, welcome back and thank you for being a loyal watcher slash subscriber. While I'm on the subject, I've been looking again at my YouTube analysis and a lot of people that are watching my videos aren't subscribed and it would really help me out if you did. So please hit the subscribe button for me and um, you know it's free and you don't have to hit the bell so you won't get notifications. It just helps out my channel a lot. So if you do that for me I would be ever so grateful. <laughs> anyway we have been out today and bought a few bits so I am going to show you what I've got. So the charity shop we went to today, there is, um, it's a place where basically everything is priced the same. So um, all the coats are priced at a certain amount, all the clothing, all the dresses, and then bric-a-brac's this. And it's all quite weird with its pricing. But we worked out, because Rob's got some stuff as well, but I'm not going to show his stuff because he's already listed it and put it away. That's how organised he is which I am not. I am actually still listing things as of now. It's Tuesday. Um, I am listing things still, what I bought at the car boot last Wednesday um, when I did my live video. If you haven't seen it, go back and have a look. I did a live car boot haul <laughs> as a celebratory video for reaching my 1K subscriber. So thank you again for that. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to sort of space things out. Um, doing I think I did 12 listings today but I've still got quite a bit left but these are going to be something that I'm listing as we go along this week so yeah um these have worked out anyway £1.35 an item and it's mainly footwear so I'm going to get into it and show you what I've got let me know in the comments as always what you think whether you would have bought them or you know whether you think I've got a good thing or how much you think I should list it for. How are your sales going as well? Let me know. Right, so basically, first of all, <laughs> basically, I don't know why I said that. First of all, I've got these. These are actually quite big. They're a size 11. Wow. Um, Wellington boot. <laughs> They're very heavy. Um, always do this when you buy shoes or boots or walking boots. Make sure there's no breaks in the sole. So always do the bend test. Um, it's a big um, tip there for you. Um, yeah, always do the bend test. Make sure. I used to not do that and I got stung a lot of times with broken shoes. Um, but yeah, got these. These are, I can't even see what make that is, but there's the make. What does it say? Cam, is it Kamek? I think it's Kamek. Yeah. So they look quite good. Um, I think we've comped these and we're looking at putting them on for about, I think it's 35 to 40. Um, there is obviously two. <laughs> There's the other one, just so you know. But yeah, um, I mean, they're pretty good. They're very heavy wellies and they're a size 11, um, which is quite a unique size for a lady's wellie. A very big size so they're either going to go really fast for a good price or they're going to stick around what do you reckon have any of you sold women's wellies ladies wellies in that size let me know i'd be interesting to find out i don't think i've ever had shoes in that size or have i actually i think i've had a size 12 and the lady bit my hand off and was like oh i want to buy these shoes and Asked me if I had any more in that size, and I, I didn't, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, big sizes are good. Another tip. Then we've got these. Lovely brown leather boots. These are made in Italy. 
and um, they're in very nice condition they have been worn but yeah that's not too much of an issue i mean when people have a decent pair of boots you can get them rehealed um so it's not an issue i really like this bit on here they are a zip fastening let me have a look i think they're a size 38 the fifth made in italy size 38 which i believe is a five that's not good they're my size and i like them <laughs> i will not be keeping these um i think i'll be putting these on for i don't know how much these actually are worth i've never actually sold faith shoes before now i know when i before i became a reseller i used to buy shoes from faith and i know they're not cheap but as for reselling i have no idea there you go it says made in italy there look on the bottom um yeah as for reselling i have no idea so i'm probably gonna go with a very um oh hang on there's a bit of a bit of fray in there look i don't know if that'll make a difference um i'm i'm probably going to say 25 as a very you know careful estimate 40 tops i don't know um yeah i thought that was actually ripped there but it isn't it's just the top of the boot look it looked like it was frayed but it's actually where the zip is so it's not um which is cool <laughs> all the better for me <laughs> Okay, another pair of boots. I'm gonna bore you now with boots. These are a really nice black pair of, duh, 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 I believe these are Clarks. Now apparently um, the lady that donated these said they were over a hundred pound, which yeah, I can imagine they were because Clarks shoes and boots are not cheap. There we go. They've hardly been worn. The grip is amazing. There is, Hello. <laughs> no scuffs to the toes. Oh, hang on. There's a little scuff to the toe. Pull that off. There we go. That's better. No scuff to the toe. <laughs> They've got these lovely buckle detailings there. Um, and they are, again, zip fastening. Um, what size are they? They're a size 5D. USA size seven and a half M, EU size 38. So I was right about them being a five or 38, that's good. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna put these on for. I'm gonna estimate 30, maybe a little bit more. As always, if anybody sees anything that they like in one of my videos, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I can give you a subscribers special discount um and if it's on ebay i can also send you the um link if it isn't on ebay yet then we can do a deal privately it's fine i don't mind right another pair of boats this is the last one i promise these are really cool i like these i don't know what they are though hang on tamaris active there you go. have you seen that label before i don't think i have anyway they look pretty cool they've got stamped zips they're really nice they're like a really nice thick thick sole zip fastening and like the fair detailing with the straps around it i really like these <laughs> i know what you're thinking it's probably the wrong time of year now to be buying boots but as i always say it is cold somewhere in the world and we sell to everywhere with GSP. So, you know, somebody somewhere may want these. I don't know what size they are. Look, they've got the um, make on them there. Has anybody had any, um, what do you call it, experience with this brand? I don't know what size these are. And they're really fairy inside. There's no size in them at all. I'm going to put them against the Clarks and see if I can work out what size they are, because I know they're a five. Yeah, these look like they're a five as well by the looks of that. 
I bet these were all given by the same woman because they're all a size five, apart from the wellies, obviously. But yeah, they're really nice. Um, I have no idea how much I'm going to list these for. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> I don't know. Um, as I always say as well, there is a link to my shop. So if you want to be nosy and see how much I list things for, you can always look on there. I am completely transparent, as I always say in my videos as well. Um, sometimes I say that I'm putting them on for something and then I either I put them on for more or less because comps change um, and prices of things change all the time and click-through rates change of what things have sold for and how often. So you've just got to keep on the ball with it. Um yeah, I'm going to estimate on them 30, maybe a little bit more. But I think, you know, it's going to be quite hard to sell the boots now. Maybe not so much the wellies, but when we're coming up to warmer months, I think it's going to be towards the back end of the year that I'm selling those. But we'll see. Watch out for my sales video and I'll show you. I'll show you what's sold. I'm in the middle of compiling one now, so watch out. This is a Laura Ashley... It's a new label one, size 12, just a stripey top. Now, this is very boring. <laughs> I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Very boring. It's got a three-quarter length sleeve, round neck. But do you know what? Stripey tops sell well. This isn't going to go for big money. I'm probably going to be looking at five to ten pound plus postage. But it'll go quick because stripey tops sell really fast. And bearing that in mind, we've got this one, Claudie Pierlot. <laughs> I think that's what it says. I always feel like I sound like Phoebe off Friends when I'm trying to pronounce something. You know, she says, Nestle Tollhauser. I'm like that. Um, anyway, it's a size one. It has got a chain around the neck, <laughs> which I think is a really interesting detail. Again, a stripy top. This will go quick. I would predict this will go fast. My spooky side predicts it. Um, now, Rob told me he did the comps on this. And I was listening. But I can't remember what he said. I'll have to do them again anyway, because like I say, things change all the time. I will check it. I hope that's not dazzling anyone. Stripes really dazzle me and I don't know if it's because I get migraines or whether it's just a normal thing But they make my eyes go funny. But yeah, that's a nice one. If you haven't Checked out that brand before check it out. If you've sold this brand before let me know. Let me know what you think of it Okay Last things These are lovely So these are Made exclusively for the Walt Disney Company, the Disney store, Hammersmith. So these are amazing. <laughs> these will go, I'm hoping they'll go before, but they'll definitely go for Halloween. So he is, Tigger is a devil. <laughs> he's got his devil fork and his cape and his horns. Isn't he wonderful? Look at him. So lovely. He's even got a little arrow at the end of his tail like Beelzebub himself Beelzebub I, <laughs> I always say everything wrong and then we've got ER <laughs> who has a pumpkin mask a witch's hat is that a cauldron or is it a treat basket and he's on a broom <laughs> and he's got his tail hanging off as he always does with a little bow on the end but look at his broom. He's like a proper witch flying. He's so lovely. So, I think I'm going to sell these together. I think they're really desirable as a pair. And I'm obviously going to keyword things like Halloween, um, scary, monster, devil, witch, pumpkin. Probably won't have enough words for all this. He's got a bit of a dirty nose. I'm going to sort that out. Tigger, saw your nose out. But yeah, um, I'm so tempted to keep these. I can't keep anything else though. It's ridiculous. You know what? I'm gonna make myself bankrupt, and I'm gonna end up with, I'm gonna end up with nothing. I'm gonna end up with a house that's a mess and loads of stuff. I need to sell it. <laughs> it's 
anyone else relate? Anyway, these are so cute. Um, I have not done any comps on these. Oh, look at that. Get a message popping up from the husband. I've ordered food. Just finished Weight Watchers. Now it's like takeaway central. I'm going to put all my weight back on. I need to be so careful. Anyway, sorry. I think I'm going to sell the two of these. I'm going to try for $24.99. Do we think that's too low or too high? Um, but like I always say, try high. Um, I don't think they'll go straight away anyway. I mean, someone might really like them and want them now, but... I think they're more like than likely to go for Halloween. But then when I put my sale on, the prices will come down naturally when my sale's on. So um, I don't know when I'm going to do another sale yet. But, you know, obviously these are going to be going on very soon. So what do you think? £1.35. Yeah, so yeah, these are £1.35 each. They were £1.35 for the two. That would have been immense. Um, yeah, update on my volunteering which hasn't happened. I've, I've volunteered, I think, five times now. And then a roof tile fell in. And we still have had no news. I've heard from the manager and she said that she still doesn't know what's going on. So it's been a good few weeks now. So I started off volunteering. It was all great and everything. And yeah, now, now not so much. So I will update on that as soon as I hear anything at all. Anyway... Please subscribe, it helps me out. I know you all don't want to, but you don't have to hit the bell. You don't have to get the notifications. But if you do want them and you want to be informed when I go live or when I am putting a video on, then hit the bell. Please like the video, it helps me out loads. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, loving all your comments, by the way. Keep them coming. And I will speak to you all again soon. Ta-ta!